What's up guys? Today I've got my hands on the world's smallest 3D home cinema headset. So this is the Govis Art. These are the smallest and lightest headset the brand has launched to date, weighing only 110 grams. So they are basically a monitor you wear over your eyes, giving you two 1080p screens per eye, resulting in a massive 110 inch full HD display right in front of your eyes. Now these are dual micro OLED displays with 60 Hertz refresh and 110% sRGB color space and a massive 100,000 to one contrast ratio. The display looks sharp and bright with nice looking colors and contrast and the actual display has some distance to it. So it's like four meters away from your eyes, which makes it comfortable for movies and gaming. Now let me quickly show you what you get in the box as standard. So you get a zip up hard case with the Govis logo on the front and I'll just show you how it's presented. So the actual headset folds down in order to fit into this tiny case. So you just take it out and then you unfold it. And inside that case, you get a nice quality type C to type C cable to connect to your device. A cleaning cloth is also provided in the box. Optional extras to mention, we have a really small smart dongle TV box. So this thing is super tiny in size. And that is basically an Android TV box and it's running official Android TV. That's the TV box and that is a battery pack. So you can use it as a portable device. So you simply dock this into the battery. Um, once you have the battery fully charged, you've got a power button, you've got type C port to charge the battery, micro SD card connection, and you've got an HDMI port. Comes with a Bluetooth remote control with Google Assistant button, and you've got some shortcuts for YouTube, Netflix, Prime, and Disney. So that's an optional extra you can pick up. And to use that, you're also gonna need, so HDMI to type C adapter, and it comes with an HDMI cable, braided high quality and you get a USB-A to Type-C cable. And another pretty awesome optional extra, we have a new Type-C power bank. So this is a new product. It looks a lot like that TV box. Oh, it almost looks identical, but there's no HDMI port at the bottom. So that's how you can tell them apart. This is a power bank. So you have a Type-C port to charge the power bank. You've got a power button, which will show you how much power you have left. And then you have a video in and a video out port. So you basically plug in your headset and maybe your smartphone, and this will give you 8,000 milliamp hours of power to power your phone, giving you a longer battery life. So very interesting power bank here. Can't wait to test it out. Now the Govis Art supports both 2D and 3D content and the ability to connect to any USB-C device that supports display out, which includes your phones, your tablets, laptops, game consoles, handhelds, and lots, lots more. And with the HDMI adapter, you can connect this headset to any HDMI console or TV box so I'm looking forward to some PS5 gaming. Now I must clarify, this is not a VR headset. Think of it as a 110 inch portable monitor that you wear on your eyes to enjoy a wide range of content connected directly to your phone, laptop, tablet, game console, and so on and so forth. Now, furthermore, there is no OS installed and there are no menus to play around with. You simply plug and play. And once connected to your device, the headset gives you a massive 110 inch display in front of your eyes. There is no power button. There is no internal battery. The headset is powered completely by your device via the USB connection. And as soon as you take the headset off, it goes into standby. And when you wear it again, the sensor can detect you and automatically power on and resume the content. Now the headset is made completely from a plastic body. It's very compact in size. You have removable padding for your forehead and that's held in magnetically. So that just drops in place and the eye part doesn't touch your eyes. So you've got an open eye design. So you can technically see what's going on around you and the lenses are a few centimeters away from your eyes. The headset feels pretty well made and solid at the same time. And it's extremely lightweight at only 110 grams. And when you're wearing it, you do have the ability to flip it upwards whenever you need to. And the straps are adjustable so you can make them tighter on your head. Now comfort wise, these are very comfortable to wear. And at the same time, the strap is flat from the back which makes it more comfortable to wear whilst you're lying down. So you can watch your favorite movies and relax at the same time. Furthermore, you have built in dynamic stereo speakers and they are quite loud and clear and produce a pretty good quality sound. 
Now let's take a closer look. You've got the Govis logo on the front with a power LED indicator. So on the side you have left and right diopter adjustment. You can also adjust the pupil distance from 58 millimeters to 74 millimeters. If you wear glasses, you can keep them on and the headset can be worn over your glasses. They won't even touch your glasses whilst you're wearing your content. You have a lock and unlock switch. You have a volume rocker. On this side, you have a brightness rocker. And then you have a dedicated button for 2D and 3D content. Over here, you have your Type-C port for power. And on the other side, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The strap is quite nice, made from a soft leather-like material. And the padding is also very comfortable on your forehead. Now let me show you how to set this up. You plug in the USB-C cable to the headset and plug the other end into your phone, tablet, computer, etc. So in our case, it's the S23 Ultra, which we have handy. If you plug it in, you can see immediately the LED light is on. So that tells you we are connected. So if you were wearing the headset, this is what you would see. So it's a bit hard to show you, but you can see there, our mobile screen has been mirrored. So that is basically how it works. It's as simple as that. There is no menus, there is no OS. There is nothing to configure. It's simply plug and play. Your phone screen becomes 110 inches in front of your eyes. So I can see everything around me. I can see my surroundings. I can see from the top. I can see from the bottom. I can see left and right. Just in the middle, I have a 110 inch screen and it's uh, pretty awesome. I'm going to play a YouTube video now. Just try and I want to get you guys to hear what the speaker sounds like. So I want to play one of my own videos. Mighty. Okay. One X player. That's max. X1. Brightness. Max. This is what I'm watching, guys. Uh, the One X Player X1 launched a few months ago with the new to see how good it really is. So when you flip it upwards, there is a sensor in between the eyes. And when you flip the screen upwards, that connection breaks and the monitor will go into standby. As soon as you flip it back, it, it's a magnetic connection, and then you have it resumes playing straight away. That's amazing. Nobody I can trust. So what, you guys like the FBI or something? We work for the union. Might get a little crazy out there today. Face him on the track and I will defeat him. Getting everything on one race is risky. It's all. Garcia? What the hell? You can't trust this guy. He's on the list. You don't mean yes. that list. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Say what? When? Okay, so I want to show you a usage scenario for one of the optional extras. My battery is nearly dead on my phone and I want to continue watching my movie. So I'm going to grab the 8000 milliamp power power bank, keep the power button pressed and you can see the lights will stay on steady so that's ready to use. Video in and video out. So video out is the glasses because it shows you the image of the glasses. Okay, and video in, get another type C cable, plug it into video in and plug the other cable into your phone. So straight away, you're gonna notice your phone is charging and the white light is also steady on the Govis, which means the headset is ready to use. So that will effectively give me an 8,000 milliamp hour battery to charge this device. So you can pop this into your pocket, then the phone will be in your hand for navigation and you wear the headset and away you go. That, so that will give you a super extended battery life. Okay, it's so a quick example of the TV box, the Android TV box, um, show you how this works. I've got this connected to the Android TV box. There's simply one cable, HDMI, Type-C adapter, and that goes straight into the headset. Crystal clear image quality, superb colors. Um, really sharp image, really like how this looks. Remote control works even if the device is in your pocket. So that's me playing around with it right now. Just gonna open up YouTube and play a video. I'm watching YouTube, distance between the lens and my eyes. Very comfortable. Now let me show you how you can connect up your PlayStation 5. So you get the HDMI adapter, plug in the HDMI cable. And then from the Type-C port, just plug in the single Type-C cable, which is going to be connected into the headset. So that's one cable, HDMI adapter, and go ahead and plug that into the back of your console. All right, so now for game consoles, you need a bit of extra power. So you grab the USB-A to Type-C cable, plug it into the second Type-C power port, 
And then you can just plug that into a USB port on your PlayStation 5, for example. So I will plug this in on the back to make it look neater. Solid white light, and you can hear my PlayStation 5 right now. You can hear it. Let's play a nice colorful game first. So there you have it guys, that was my overview of the Govis Art. This is the smallest and the lightest home cinema 3D enabled headset. You can play 3D movies directly from YouTube or even side by side 3D movies stored on your phone or on a drive. I absolutely love the design and compactness of the whole unit. It's really comfortable to wear and packs away nicely into the included zip up hard case. Picture quality is very good, sharp colours and great contrast. Sound quality is also very good with decent volume. Overall, a very comfortable experience for both movies and games. The price is something you need to consider. This costs just under $450, which is quite expensive. Alternatively, you could buy a MetaQuest 3 for around the same price, but it does a lot more. Or even a Quest 2, which is a lot cheaper. But saying that, this headset is a lot smaller and lighter than any other headset out there. 110 grams feels like nothing. And I love that you can still see your surroundings at all times. So if you don't want VR and the bulk that comes with it, if you're more into watching movies and playing console games, including 3D content, then this headset is a pretty damn enjoyable experience. That's all for this video. If you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews, hit the like button, sub to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.